Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about the comic book industry. And we're going to talk about Alan Moore making some comments that he thinks the comic book industry is over. Now, you can take or leave anything that uh, Alan Moore says, but, you know, given that he is a, a uh, huge force uh, to be reckoned with in the comic book industry, that he's had a, a you know huge impact on the comic book industry, it's worth hearing him out. Anyway, unless you're a pop culture blogger, and in that case, you you dismiss Alan Moore, uh, say he's just a crazy old man and he's wrong because HBO's Watchmen was was awesome, and uh, you know Alan Moore doesn't know what he's talking about. But uh, before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're at almost 150,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Now we dip in on the comic book industry every once in a while. Uh, we do talk about it. Uh, I worked in comics for a number of years. I have a lot of friends who still work in the comic book industry. And look, it's not in a very good place right now at all, uh, especially the direct market. It's totally in shambles. It's, uh, you know, the COVID, the pandemic has hastened the inevitable. Um, we're seeing layoffs at DC. We're seeing layoffs at other publishers. Uh, you know, IDW is hanging on by its fingertips. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen to Marvel because Disney is hemorrhaging cash at this point. But, you know, I, I heard uh, last week that uh, Diamond was laying off again. Diamond comic distribution. Uh, we actually know someone on Facebook who said that they were being laid off and they were there for like 10 or 12 years. Not going to name names, but it's interesting that none of the comics press has covered this as far as I can tell. And this particular person, uh, you know, was pretty, um, pretty far up the food chain in dealing with customers. So I was surprised that they got left off. Uh, it's not a good sign. You know, DC Comics left Diamond, and uh, the Earth or the Earth still continues to revolve. According to Bleeding Cool, this is fine. Everything's fine. Comics are fine, even though DC Comics has recently been gutted by Warner Media. Uh, they had a bunch of layoffs, and as I understand it, there are more layoffs coming company-wide, just, not just to DC Comics, but to other divisions of Warner, too, including Crunchyroll, Rooster Teeth, uh, Cartoon Network, you know, all of these, these uh, different, uh, you know, entertainment entities that AT&T found themselves saddled with when they bought out Warner Media, and as I understand it, they have buyer's remorse <laughs> about that, so they're just going to, unfortunately gut the company but i saw this pop up and i don't know if this is at uh new york comic con no this is deadline deadline alan moore said covid may be the final blow to the comic book industry so this was a pretty interesting read uh we're gonna read it together i'm gonna comment but uh, i don't think alan moore is wrong uh i don't and uh i just think it's funny that they love to trot out alan moore the same same outlet actually cbr uh, and tell him he's wrong because, you know, Watchmen was was so good. It was so good. Uh, so good it got canceled after one season. You know, um, it's rude to Alan Moore and it needed to be. It needed to be rude to Alan Moore because he doesn't he doesn't understand Watchmen. Alan Moore doesn't understand Watchmen like HBO and Twitter understands Watchmen. But here we go. Alan Moore says COVID may be final blow to the comic book industry. Veteran writer Alan Moore says COVID-19 could permanently shut down the comics industry, but also predicts a more optimistic possibility. Those, those two things don't go hand in hand, right? Uh, Alan Moore and optimism. Uh, the pandemic has taken a toll on the entertainment industry, including comics. Veteran writer Alan Moore says the comic book industry, at least as it currently stands, might not survive because of it. I doubt the major companies will be coming out of lockdown in any shape at all. Moore told Deadline, the mainstream comics industry is about 80 years old and has lots of pre-existing health conditions. It wasn't looking that great before COVID happened. Uh, thank you, Alan Moore. Thank you for stating what uh, lots and lots of YouTubers have been stating for years. But, you know, the mainstream comics press doesn't want to listen to us, but they'll listen to you. Maybe. Maybe unless you say that Watchmen was a bad idea. Most of our entertainment industries have been a bit top heavy for a while. Moore said the huge corporations business interests have so much money that they can produce these gigantic blockbusters of one sort or another that will dominate their markets. I can see that changing and perhaps for the better. 
Marvel and DC had scaled back their publishing plans at the height of the pandemic. This coming from CBR, both publishers paused the release of new comics entirely in April and began trickling out new releases the following month, putting piss yellow stickers on some of them, uh, before eventually resuming a full publishing schedule come summer. The upheaval also resulted in a significant change to the industry's distribution system and forced some comic shops to permanently close their doors. Uh, the pandemic has delayed film releases, etc. Uh, Moore had a rosier outlook for smaller publishers, though. It's too early to make optimistic predictions, but you might hope that the bigger interests will find it more difficult to man maneuver in this landscape, whereas the smaller independent concerns might find that they're a bit more adapted. These times might be an opportunity for genuinely radical and new voices to come to the fore in the absence of yesteryear. Basically, the big publishers are screwed. They're, they're run by mega corporations that need mega profit margins. And now is the time for independent comics creators to find a new way forward, to find a new way forward and get their comic books out there. It, it, it almost sounds as if Alan Moore is Comicsgate. He's saying that the industry was already ill and that independents need to find a way around the system. Of course, we know this couldn't possibly be the case because CBR also told us last year that Alan Moore was making fun of Comicsgate. But it's so weird because he sounds uh, he sounds an awful lot like Comicsgate. Smaller comics publishers such as Image and Dark Horse were also impacted by the pandemic. Uh, Sony Pictures released Bloodshot based on Valiant, uh, Valiant Comics character, and then they shut down their offices. They shut down their offices, they moved out, and it bombed, it bombed. Uh, Moore acknowledged the economic challenges faced by smaller publishers could stymie their potential exposure. That's undeniable. I'm talking in the long term. There's going to be an awful lot of economic pain for everybody before this is over. I'm not even sure it will ever technically be over until we've reached a better stage of equilibrium, whatever that turns out to be. When that was attained, I hope we might see a very different landscape culturally i don't think he's talking about image and dark horse because image and dark horse are also very top heavy i think he's talking about independent comics creators who are going to rise up during the pandemic era and sort of you know fill that need because the big companies don't have the money or the inclination or the desire to produce comics they produce comics as uh, ancillary merchandise uh, you know just as t-shirts Basically, uh, T-shirts have a higher profit margin than comic books do, but I think it's very interesting. I think Alan Moore is actually watching this situation more closely than people think he is. They think he's in his mansion, counting his money, working on new spells, whatever he does with his free time, combing his beard. Well, not combing his beard. I don't know what Alan Moore does in his free time, but this does not seem to be the case. He seems to be keenly aware of where the comic book industry is right now, and he is keenly aware of that this is going to be the time that independents rise up. But hey, what does Alan Moore know? What does Alan Moore know? He just said that Watchmen HBO was a terrible, a terrible idea. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later.